Well, I hope that there will be a, a determined effort to uh, allow for the entry of uh, humanitarian uh, goods and the provision of uh, safe areas and the safe corridors to disperse these goods and to uh, provide uh, shelter and safety for the Palestinians within Gaza. Uh, we hope that also uh, the broader uh, perspectives of the end of the conflict on the basis of the two-state solution uh, will also be reiterated uh, as the uh, viable manner to uh, free the region and the two peoples, the Israelis and the Palestinians, from these constant cycles of violence. Do you believe the president will be able to make a difference here? Because as we've been discussing, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has been talking about uh, a long and protracted war, and that also seems to be something that he is preparing Western allies and Western leaders for as well. So how far are we from a ceasefire or an end to these hostilities? Do you expect this to last for months, perhaps even longer? Well, I, I don't think it, it is uh, reasonable for me to speculate. Uh, you began your question by asking about uh, President Biden's uh, ability, and, and here we place great value uh, in, in the President of the United States as uh, the major world power to be able to uh, have a very determined impact in uh, dealing with uh, conflict situations and in uh, being able to uh, rally uh, support uh, for uh, a way forward that uh, prevents the continuing strife, conflict, loss of life. Uh, again, uh, this is uh, a relationship, bilateral relationship between Egypt and the United States that is built on uh, cooperation and trust and uh, parallelity of interests. And I believe that uh, we have uh, worked in the past and continue to work to achieve peace and security in the region. Certainly an end of, to this conflict uh, in the short term related to the situation in Gaza, in the long term to the uh, implementation of the internationally recognized uh, and consensus on uh, the need for a two-state solution.